security team has said no more vnets or public ips allowed on storage accounts we use that with our managed instance to back up or restore manually i'll show you how we can get around that by deploying private endpoints on today's tales from the field today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a if this is your first time finding us over at Tales from the Field, give us a like and please give us a subscribe. We have content that drops every Tuesday for our community roundtable where we discuss blogs, videos, anything that's produced by you, the Azure data community. We also have this thing called MS Tech Bits that we drop most of the time on Mondays and always on Wednesdays. You're watching one of those now. Let's get to the content. So what is a private endpoint? A private endpoint is a network interface that uses a private IP address from our virtual network. So today, what our goal is, is to secure our storage account by disabling all public endpoints and only allowing connectivity from our managed instance over that private endpoint. So here you see we have our managed instance. Within our managed instance, we have two databases. We have a database for GeoRestore, which we're gonna show here, and we have Dropkick Murphys. We're not gonna use the Dropkick Murphys today. They're just a cool band. We're gonna use the database for GeoRestore for our demo purposes. All right, so now let's go over to our storage account. Here in our storage account, you can see I've enabled from selected virtual networks and IP addresses. Essentially, we're securing our storage, but our goal is to disable any public IPs by selecting that radio button here in the future. All right, let's switch over to SSMS. You can see here we've successfully backed up our database to our blob storage container from our managed instance. We're securing that credential, we're securing that connection between our managed instance and our container by using a managed identity credential. Our good friend Bradley Ball did a video here on this channel. I recommend you check it out. So now let's switch over to our Azure Storage Explorer that I have sitting on my laptop. We're gonna do a refresh. You can see here that it's showing us that we've done a fresh backup to our URL or to our container. And now we're gonna switch over to an Azure Storage Explorer I have on a VM I've created. You can see here once again that it's showing us the fresh backup we've taken to our blob storage container. It'll become evident later in the video why I'm showing the two Azure Storage Explorers, but for now, trust me, you're gonna like it. All right, let's switch back over to our storage account. Now we're gonna disable the VNet and the public IPs. That was our goal. Management told us no more, no more VNets, no more public IPs. So we're gonna select the disabled radio button here under networking within our storage account. We're gonna hit save. You can see here that it's been successfully saved. So we've disabled public IP access and VNet access. So now let's switch back over to SSMS and see what happens. Just exactly what I expected to happen we are failing on our backups now. It's saying it can't reach the blob storage container. That's because we were going over VNet at one point to connect to this. And we've disabled, once again, we've disabled public IP and VNet access. All right, let's switch over to our storage account, go to networking, select private endpoint connections. Once we select private endpoint connections, you'll see here we can create a private endpoint by hitting the plus sign. We're going to create a private endpoint. We're going to give it a name. We're going to select East US because that's where our managed instance and our storage account are. For the target sub resource, we're going to choose blob because that's what we're backing up to. So we're going to choose blob there. For virtual networks, we're going to select the virtual network that our managed instance is in. Here you can see I've created an additional subnet, hub storage PE. Uh, subnet. I created that because you can't put anything within the managed instance subnet. So we created another subnet within our virtual network. And this is where we're going to place our private endpoint. You can also see here that we have static 
uh, uh, st we can statically allocate our IP or we can dynamically allocate it. For this, we're going to dynamically allocate it. Otherwise, you could choose from a range of the IPs that are available within the subnet that you created. Okay, we're going to select next for DNS. We're going to stick with the Microsoft recommendation here of integrate with private DNS zone. So we're going to select that yes on that radio button. Then we're going to go next to tags. For tags, we're going to leave these blank for now. We're going to go to review and create. And this is where we can review and then we can create our private endpoint. So let's go ahead and create it. Once the resource is deployed, you can see here, go to resource. And you'll see here, we can see the VNet subnet that the private endpoint was placed into. We can also go to our DNS configuration and we can see here that it dynamically allocated an IP address that was within our subnet range. And we can once again validate here that within our networking under our storage account that we now have a private endpoint. So now what can we do? All right, so let's hop over to our SSMS. Let's run our backup again. And once we execute, we'll see that our database backups are now successfully completing. They are communicating over the private endpoint to our blob URL container. So let's go to our Azure Storage Explorer I have here locally on my laptop. We're gonna see something interesting. We're gonna get an authentication error. We are communicating over a public IP from my laptop. So I can't connect to the storage account anymore. Okay, so now let's go over to the Azure Storage Explorer I have on the VM within Azure. We're gonna hit a refresh. And what I wanna show you here is that we can still see the backups. And this is because my VM that I've configured is part of a V is part of a subnet that is within a VNet of the private endpoint and the managed instance. All right, let's wrap this thing up. We successfully deployed a private endpoint to our storage account. We were able to validate that our managed instance was able to back up to the URL over the private endpoint. And that's because it was within a subnet within the same VNet of our managed instance. We we're also able to validate that we could see our backups through Azure Storage Explorer that was deployed on a VM that was regionally paired to the managed instance VNet. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, leave us feedback. And if there's anything you would like to see us do or record, please let us know. Have a great day. Be good to each other. Don't rise in the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you want to be.